Welcome back. Apple is making a whole lot of news from its annual product event. The company unveiling its most ambitious product, a mixed reality headset called Vision Pro. They look like ski goggles and let people live let people in on live video of the real world. Apple also unveiling a new MacBook Air and several new features for FaceTime and messaging. That's a lot. Let's break it all down with CNET senior editor Nick Wolney. Welcome back. So first, let's talk about this headset. $3,500. That's not cheap. We're saying it's mainstream, but it's pretty expensive, yeah. although I'm sure people will pay for it. Well, it's even more than what pundits had predicted. <laughs> you know, most pundits had, in the rumor mill, put it at about $3,000 flat. But Apple CEO Tim Cook really talked about it being, quote, a new kind Kind of computer. Think of this device as a computer. It's Apple's first new device in eight years, so they really needed to make a splash. And a lot of those details were about how they've built things from the ground up. They've really built an entirely new operating system called Vision OS um, to support what they are calling spatial computing. The big surprise was that it's not so much a VR headset as it is an augmented reality headset. So tell so, me the difference. So virtual reality would be more of you're going to put your headset on and you're going to be in a completely different simulated room. Room. Uh, with an augmented reality headset, you're going to be in your living room and you'll be able to ink open up windows or screens or different things like that from the comfort of your own home and you'll be able to kind of toggle it. It's almost as if you're taking the screen of your computer or your laptop and you're putting it right there on the goggles and you can do And it uses your eye function, right? Yeah. So we have Face ID on our phones. So this is going to be Optic ID. It's going to scan your eyeballs uh, for security. And so I'm sure there are mixed feelings in terms of what that will consist of. Generally, we're thinking thinking there's going to be a lot of a learning curve. There's no controller, so it's going to be only hand movements and eye movements even. Where you're looking on the device is going to determine menu uh, options and things like that. It doesn't come out till next year, so there's many more details yet to come in terms of the functionality, but people are really, really excited about this announcement. Okay, tell me about face voicemail. I, I don't know what it is, but I figure a lot of people will so be So FaceTime voicemail, basically. You're going to make a FaceTime call to someone and they don't pick up. You're going to be able to leave a video voicemail I like to that. that person. I know I like it. You know, it's I'm used to it and it's going to be really really nice for people who are perhaps scanning calls or you have some sort of moment that's going to be really helpful uh, really exciting or that you want to share with your loved ones in order to make that happen so that's one of the big features that is going to be really really nice um, and there is this new check-in feature we've been talking about this all morning whether mm. it's creepy is it good yeah. I guess for parents it'll be really good yeah well I think on the creepiness side um, they did detail that it's going to be end-to-end -end encrypted so if something was going to happen you were going to be hacked or something like that it won't be as big of a concern the check-in feature is a new feature that will allow you to communicate to a loved one where your location is a classic example that I can think of is that you're on your way home after you've been out with friends you you could use the check-in feature and you can just let them know what your location is, that you're headed home, and it will send them a notification when you've actually arrived home. I know that I will tell my friends that I'm going to text them when I get home and that I can count on one hand the number of times I've actually done mm -hmm. that. You know, and so that's <laughs> nice. You can just kind of set it and forget it. Um, and it only tracks location while you are on your way to that particular destination. Okay, so I can see the use for that. I think a lot of people can. Um, so we've talked about the big ones that are kind of all the talk this morning. What else mm. was there that was unveiled? So the FaceTime voicemails and check-in and some other features, they'll all, they'll all be part of iOS 17, which is going to roll out automatically uh, later in the fall. And there will be a bevy of really nice quality of life updates, mm -hmm. just things that make using your Apple devices easier. Things like transcription of voice notes. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, thank goodness, right? So I don't have to constantly go back through those notes. Another really nice voicemail addition is there's going to be live transcription of voicemails. So let's say you're in a meeting, you're getting a call from a loved one, you can't take it. You can watch the voicemail being transcribed in oh, real time. Oh, that's and then interesting. You can end up taking the call if you're like, hey, I need to step out of this meeting and take the call. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to do that. So they really focused on quality of life with these updates for iOS 17. Every part of the Apple product suite got some sort of update. The watch operating system got an update. Uh, there was a new MacBook Air, 15 inch MacBook Air, just three pounds and 15 inches. So really no stone left unturned of this WWDC conference. And those are the you know, the little things like that are sometimes the things we overlook, like that new voicemail feature mm, and those types yeah. of things. So those are really Well, and I think also just seeing how on. people are, you know, people don't answer the phone anymore because there's so many robocalls and robotexts and things yeah. like that. And so to see the brand adjust accordingly and actually build and deploy features that are going to be related to how people are already communicating, I think that's pretty cool. And people were really excited about yesterday's conference. Okay, well, a lot to get through. Thanks so much for breaking it down for us. Yeah, thanks for having you me. make it easy. <laughs> And you can find out more information about CNET by going to kcalnews.com and clicking Scene on TV.